ever went to the cinema, it was to see Star Wars with my sister and my father. I think I was about five then. And that experience has left a lasting impression on my life. I love going to the cinema to see movies. There's something about sitting in a theater with the big screen, eating great snacks with your friends. So I wanted to share some movie food ideas with you. I'm gonna start with hot dogs. So we're gonna make an American kind of something something called a corn dog, right? And what we need to start, we've got half a cup of flour, half a cup of cornmeal, yellow cornmeal, got about two tablespoons of sugar here, a little bit of milk. Of course, I'm not adding these in the right order. I'm going to put a half teaspoon of baking powder in here. of baking powder and a pinch of salt. I'll mix that up. I also want to put an egg in here. So I have one egg. Plonk that in there. Let's get it all well mixed up. We have a little batter going. I decided to use something deep so I can plunge my hot dog into here. Of course, any good hot dog requires a good sausage or frankfurter. And I have these Johnsonville brats, which are really, really delicious, okay? So I'm going to get two of those out. I've got a metal skewer. You can use a wooden one if you wish. It's going to go through there. And then, basically, I'm going to plunge this into my mixture. A nice even coating. And I'm going to basically put this in the hot oil. Plunk you down in there. Like that. Get me other one. Put on like that. And down in there. Oh, we're cooking very quickly here. Okay, whilst those are cooking, we want them to get nice and golden brown. I am going to put my two other planks in some water to boil. This one's ready. What I've done here is I've got my hot dog bread here because I'm making a different kind of hot dog as well. I've got my hot dog bread here on a skillet and I'm just going to toast it so it gets nice and warm. It kind of cuts you on the outside. This looks ready to me too. So there you go, two corn dogs. And of course, you're going to let it cool a little bit, and put some mustard on it and munch away, you leave it on the skewer and you eat it like that. All right, so back over here, I'm going to make some coleslaw. All right, so coleslaw is fairly straightforward stuff. A little bit of cabbage sliced. I'm not going to do too much because I only have a couple of hot dogs happening here. A little bit of cabbage. I'm going to put my onions in here. Some very finely diced onions. Some thinly sliced carrots. And I got some mayonnaise. Generous sized amount of mayonnaise. Some more carrots, I think. I'm gonna throw some vinegar in here. a little bit. This is a little side of vinegar, just really light. Pinch of salt. I am going to put some pepper sauce in here. Just a little bit. This is even one stop, pretty cool as well. And I'm also going to put some ketchup in here. Now, I am very fussy when it comes to ketchup. 
To me, this is the only ketchup worth eating. Heinz um, has a lovely flavor and it tastes like tomatoes. So, that is the sum total of the coleslaw. I put a little garlic in there. All right, so let me just turn this over and get my franks, which are looking excellent. I have about 62 million chopping boards. All right, so here we go. We gotta get the bread. Basically, you just do what you do. Cutting the bread down the middle. Grab me, Frank. Plonk them in there. Nice lump of coleslaw. Plenty, but plenty. Hot dogs is about plenty. And you could put more ketchup, you could put spicy mustard, you could put pepper sauce on there, and there you have your movie hot dog, which is your slaw dog. And then with my corn dog, I'm just gonna do a little slice down there with that. Let's see if I can open that up a bit. You know, people in the States the king of the hot dog is really mustard, not ketchup, right? This is his hot mustard. And there we go. With my, let's have a taste. I don't think there's any way to do this elegantly. Delicious corn dog. Mm. 